let's get moving, shall we? So do make sure you have your safe space to practice in, non-slip floor, everything to where you're comfortable. Let's start with feet together. And two hands pushing sky, deep breaths. Let's breathe in. Clasping the hands and breathe out, stretch. Breathing in. And relax, breathing out. Same again, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing in. Relax. One more. Okay. All right, very nice. Let's bring the feet a little bit apart. We're going to roll through these shoulders. A nice stretch through. I am gonna say good morning, good morning to Jeanne and to Lynn. Hello to Louise and Danny and Deb. Uh, good morning to Delilah and Janet and Yola as well. Hello to you all. Feeling the stretch, taking your time. Big movements. Breathe through the movement as well. Really feel what's going on. All right, good. We're going to take this movement into the body. Sink, breathe out. And roll. Feel the movement through the whole body, down to your feet, pushing back up. Okay, very nice. Let's roll through the shoulders in the other direction. Feel the movement through the back, through the neck, the rib cage. Good morning to Alison as well. Hello to you. Okay, we're going to take this movement and again sink and roll. Breathing out. One more. Okay. <clears throat> very, very nice. Let's do our balancing of plates then. So starting with a hand at the back, feet firmly planted. Let's take this movement, sweeping around and coming back in. Same with the other hand. So again, just allowing for the body to take the movement of the arms. So the body sways and the arm follows. Oh, 
Okay, we're going to go in the other direction, forward and out, coming over. Gentle movement. Feel your weight shift. Keep breathing. All right, very nice. Two hands together at the same time. Then we're going to bring these hands around, coming back nice and open again. Hello to Richard as well. Good morning. All right, good. Let's go the other way. Forward and out. Okay, all right, very nice, wiggles, jiggles. All right, let's take these arms and these hands and we're going to roll the fingers in one at a time. So we start with the little fingers and we're coming in. One, two, three, four, five. Connect them, feel all the fingertips as they touch each other. Then we bend at the wrist, bend at the elbow, coming in, dropping down. Coming up, keep the shoulders soft, feel the twist through the arms, release one, two, three, four, five. Okay, again, rolling in, one, two, three, four, five. So we make the contact, we bend, we bend, we come in, drop. Watch that you're not leaning here, just sink through the feet, okay? Then we come up and we're letting go. All right, one more. Rolling in, sinking down, twisting these arms and letting go. All right, very nice. Let's wiggle these fingers. All of them, all of them moving through the wrists. Good, elbows. Shoulders, it should be nice and loose by now, nice and soft. Okay, gently working through the neck. Go nice and easy on yourself. Let's work down through the length of the spine. Okay, down to the hips. One leg, the other leg. All right, let's work through these toes then. So. Dropping the weight down on one side, pushing these toes back. Feel. Feel the toes one by one. Feel that little bit of a stretch through the foot. All right, good. Let's move through the ankle. Keep it nice and soft. Moving through the knee. All right, through the hip, forward and open. Okay, big circles, nice and steady, moving up and open. Okay, good, same on the other side. Relax, let's focus on these toes. Press each one and then let it go. Again, nice stretch through the foot.
Okay. Ankle. And just nice and soft, nice and loose. Through the knee. Okay, hip. A little bit of a stretch there, some movement. Feeling that movement right into the lower back as well. All right, and again, nice and steady, up and out. Okay, good, all right. So let's stand for a moment. Let's really bring the awareness to ourselves. So we want to start with these feet underneath the hips. Feel your alignment over the feet. Hips, shoulders, through the length of the neck, lifting through the top of the crown. Everything in place. And then Keeping the head tall, we breathe in. Feel the breath, fill the body. And as we breathe out, we're going to relax. Let go, feel the weight of the body sink. Just melting away. Feel the weight of the arms on the shoulders. Feel the weight of the pelvis hanging from the end of the spine. Supported by the legs. and the feet connected to the ground. The weight sinking down through your feet. Into the ground beneath you. Breathing deep breaths into the belly. As you breathe in, feel the breath drawn in, drawn down, filling the belly. As you breathe out, we soften, letting go. Okay, clasping the hands. Let's slowly raise the hands overhead, just rotating through the shoulders. Turn the palms up. Breathing in, we'll push up with the hands, down with the feet. Breathing out, relax.
and so let's twist coiling from the ground up Okay, coming back to your center line. Let's twist. Coming back. We're going to lift and extend, reaching across. And again, relax, nice deep breaths. All right, good, let's come back. Lift, reach, extend. And breathe. Soft through the neck, soft through the shoulders. Okay, let's come back. Letting go. All right, very, very nice feet. A little bit further apart, let's come around. Let the arms go. Gently tapping as you go. Everything nice and loose. Okay, good. We're going to come out on the heel. Make sure your knees are soft. And then coming in on the toe. Okay. Okay, all right, very, very nice. There was, uh, I put up, as I do every Monday morning, a little post just to let you know that I'm here and the, the live stream is on and happening. Um, and it was, it was a comment about how the world around you, uh, sometimes things really are out of your control. Um, this, this actually came from a conversation that, that was had earlier in the week with, uh, with some students. Um, and things happen, things happen in life all the time. Sometimes they blindside you, sometimes things are, are, are just going on. Um, and we have very little control over what's happening um, and it can be very, very overwhelming. Now, the conversation that was had was actually just how we, how we react, how we respond to that. I was, I was asked, what would I do uh, in this particular situation? Um, the, the emotions were overwhelming for them and um, they found this very, very difficult, uh, their own situation to, to cope with. And the point is, is that emotions often are overwhelming and emotions are much, much quicker than thought. Something happens and you feel it. It, it gets you straight away. 
the difference is um, how and when we respond to that emotional reaction. If the emotion is happening quicker than thought, often you don't have time to think about what's going on. We, we tend to just, you know, like a, you know, our sort of uh, toddler self comes out. It's there, it's raw, we react straight away. Um, now, it's not easy <laughs> to, to, to have any control over that, but training how we respond to our emotions is a big deal. And this is part of what we do with our, our Qigong, Tai Chi, a number of these practices. Any kind of breath work is a way for training that buffer, that barrier between our emotional response and how we react to that response. You can't control a whole bunch of stuff. There's no point in trying to pretend. What you have to do is allow that emotion, you know, any emotional response that you have is okay. It just happens. But allowing for that, that space, for that emotion to do its thing, hello, to breathe through it and give yourself, almost like giving yourself a bit of time out to allow for that tidal wave to settle down and then think about how we respond to this. Now, it's obviously easier said than done, but again, this is why these practices are uh, important. As I said in my post this morning, it is about finding that, that stillness when the tidal wave is happening, there's a lot of surface noise going on. And so we kind of have to just ride that wave for a moment, just breathe. And feeling the body is actually a good way of coming back to yourself. So again, this is why these practices are so good. Feel your feet on the ground, okay? Come to yourself, just feel the hands, feel the feet, wiggle the toes, just pushing the feet on the ground, knowing how to breathe. And then often it is the movement which actually helps the emotion settle and pass through. Because that emotion has to go somewhere. If we're solid and rigid with it, 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 it can consume us as well. This is why sometimes if we're angry, we feel like we need to jump around, you know, because it's got to go somewhere. And so it's not about controlling the situation. It's about being kind to yourself, taking a few deep breaths and training yourself in having that space to allow things to settle, and then training the responses, bit by bit, okay? So we're going to do a movement today, which is kind of apt, actually. It's, it's for the liver. Now, um, we spoke about the wind last week. It was windy in Warsaw. What do we do about that? Um, and the, the liver is, it's, it's the largest solid organ in the body. It's quite, it's quite hefty um, and it works a lot. It does an awful lot for the body, um, working through toxins, getting rid of toxins in the body. Um, and also your emotional responses in the body and the, the hormones in the body, the liver has to deal with all of that. And anger is also um, an emotion that is associated with the liver. And sometimes we just gotta work that bit harder to work that out. All the stress responses, those hormones are dealt with by the liver. 
And the wind is what is associated with all of that as well. On a windy day, when it's really windy, uh, you see how the animals react and they start to go a bit wild. Kids are the same. They start to go a bit wild. So this is a really good one. Uh, it's particularly good for the digestive system as well because the liver plays a big role in that. Um, this movement is quite active because that's what we want. Um, and it is, has an interesting name. This is the, the fisherman asking the way. I'm not sure why the, the fisherman is lost, but that's the name of the movement. Now, uh, we're going to look at this little bit by little bit because there is a lot going on. I'm going to start with the feet together. And the movement starts with the upper body. I'll come a little bit closer so you can see what's going on there. Now, if we start with the arms at the side, the first thing that we want to do is do a sweep, okay? The body's gonna come back. We're gonna raise the arms all the way up and over, okay? Now, give yourself some space for this. This is a really nice one to take a deep breath in and get the movement going. So if we're here, feel the opening up, the space through the length of the spine, and then the hands are going to come down on the tops of the thighs like this, okay? Now, if you're leaning back, don't go too far, but again, open, 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 open. We get to this point and the body is back to being upright again. So we're not leaning anymore here, but the arms keep going and come down. All right, one more time. Open, lots of space, feel the stretch through the body, and then the arms come down onto the thighs. From here, the hands are going to come up the front so that the heels of the hands meet your rib cage, okay? Here, and they come around the side of the rib cage, so we really want to press and massage in at the belly, and then the hands come together, okay? So we've come over and down, we come up the front, around and together. From here, the hands are gonna move forward. This is tricky, try and keep the palms of the hands together and you push forward as much as you can and then we relax that pressure and we push to the sides still with the palms of your hands facing forward, not sideways, we're here, relax. Okay, there's a lot going on, right? Let's do this again. So, open, sweep, and come down. Up the front of the body, around, and hands together. Push, and push, relax. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And again, open, breathe in, Breathe out soft through the belly. Breathe in. Breathe out one more time together. Breathe in. Breathe out round the belly. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay. Good. So already with the breath, with the stretch, with the movement, with the massage around the body, we're already here. We already feel that bit better, right? Let's move the feet. So the feet are a little bit interesting, okay? Now we're gonna step with your left leg first. So we want to drop the weight through the right foot and the left foot, this is tricky, is gonna move forward straight ahead and we bring the weight forward with both feet pointing straight ahead. So it might be a bit tricky for balance, okay? We're coming back, lifting these front toes back. We come in 
and up. It may be easier to step a little wider, don't go too wide, so maybe you want to go at hip width rather than straight ahead. That gives you a little bit more sort of ground space to go on, but the back foot does want to point forward. Okay, coming back, front toes up, come in and up. Okay, so let's try that again. Like I said, ideally you're stepping straight ahead. Now, when you move forward, it's the pressure around the ankle of the back foot that you want to feel because that liver channel comes from the big toe and moves up through here. So we're getting that, that pressure around there. Coming back, keep yourself upright, sit down, coming in and up. Same on the other side. So if you find that too wobbly, just a little bit wider. Don't go too wide because you'll lose it altogether. Maybe about hip width, but feeling that pressure around the back ankle. Okay, nice and upright. When we come back, sink through the back foot. Okay, if I face this way, you can see the body stays level. Okay, so there's no leaning involved. <laughs> Sit through the back foot, sink the weight in and up. Same on the other side. Sink, we stay upright. You don't have to step far. Just enough to feel this movement through the legs. Okay, arms and legs together. We start with the arms on their own. So we do this sweep, nice and open. As the arms come down, we're going to sink the body down and we step. The hands come around the belly. Okay, remember up the front, then open. And then to here. Forward, back and push sideways. Relax. To the other side. So we start with the sweep and then everything down and step around the belly. Push back, sitting down, sink the weight and in. Okay, breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, very, very nice. So the whole body is moving. Again, keep everything nice and soft. Let everything sink down. There's a lot of upper body stuff going on, but you really want to try and keep the stability with the body nice and level, nice and smooth, okay? As much as you can. So we're going to do this together four counts of eight. Take your time. Like I said, if you feel you need to, just go that little bit wider with the step, just to give you that little bit better balance as you're shifting the weight. Don't make it a big step. All right, so we are going to start with your palms low on the belly. And breathe, deep breaths. Feeling the belly move as you breathe. Bringing the awareness to yourself. Feel the alignment of the body. 
pull through the top of the crown. Letting the weight sink. And relax. Fishman asks the way. One, breathe in. Two, breathe out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, breathe in. Two, breathe out. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, three, breathe in, two, breathe out, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, four. Breathe in. Two, breathe out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring some circles to the belly, breathing in. Breathe out. We'll let the palms rest on the belly. Nice deep breaths. Okay. And there you have it. Very good, very nice. Thank you very much again for joining me this morning. The sun's come out here, so it's going to be a good day. Of course it is. <laughs> Stilled and chilled. That's how we like it. Let's take a left thumb, wrap the other hand around. Thanks. Take care. See you next time. Bye.